actually does fairly well into Bayonetta, I would say, as well when it when it comes to that kind of thing. One way to deal with Bayonetta is more of a defensive play style for yes. certainly. Yeah, yeah. kind of camp out a little bit. And Wolf, you had that versatility. Like you said, it's very fundamentally based character. So they can either choose to be aggressive and use, uh, or they can sit back a little bit, use that gun, and do more some bread and bud combos. In this kind of matchup against good Bales, it, it really, patience is just so, so important, even more than most other matchups, I think. Because if you get a little bit impatient, hit a few too many buttons, uh, Bale can combo start you from like mid, like mid range away. Uh, yeah. And you have to be ready to shield, like shield, like being ready to threaten shield uh, is super important. So you can't get too over anxious, like to ru running in with no, no, no care. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now, both players just jumping around a little bit, feeling each other out. Now a bit of a down tilt swing into some forward airs. Nothing too crazy. We've racked on a bit of 21% now, a total of 62 so far on to Moxie. Here we go, here's Moxie's combo starting. Down throw into dash attack, the Wolf Classic just waiting it out. I thought they were gonna grab, but they were expecting maybe a roll in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Following up with a grab of her own is Death Spade. Okay, yeah, trying to go high with the side B, but Death Spade not getting, not getting fooled by that. Mm -hmm. Just waiting it out. The thing about that side B is it, it's, it feels good because it goes so far and it can mix up your opponent, but the end lag on it is absurd. So if your opponent doesn't like commit deep off stage for, or you know, deep commit too much for it, they're just going to like turn around and Ooh. shoot. Oh my God, and that confirming to kill. That's an early lead for Death Spade. Looking nice. really good so Huge. far. And we should say, this is a qualifier for top 48. So I believe it is top 48 to, uh, tomorrow, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, so this is a qualifier for day two even. Yeah, this is winner's side. So the loser of this would still have to win another match and losers to get into top 48. Mm -hmm. So this is, a, this is a big deal for sure. Huge. Love that. Okay. Ledge situation. Moxie able to get back to center stage. Just going to throw Death Spade off and go into a ledge trap situation. Yeah, nothing too crazy here. Oh! oh! <laughs> Trying to read the tech. It kind of went a little bit too far, but it was a cool idea. I liked it. I yeah. liked it for sure. Definitely showing that a progressive play style we talked about earlier. Weak Nair into side B, but now just a bit of a reset here. Oh, catching Here's the them combo with the starter. Four B. Okay. Dropping out of the combo pretty early on, too. You know, when it comes to this matchup too, Bayonetta is a matchup in this game like no other too. Yes, it's a very unique one for sure. It's, it, she can do things that other characters like don't, can't do at all. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's, it's in particular, I think it's the Ooh. place that she can start her combos from. It's the threat bubble that she has is like really unique because it's like an upwards, like she, it's that which, um, God, the name of the move is it? Which time? No, no, oh. no, no, it's the, it's the uh, diagonal up. Combo, yeah, oh, whatever. ABK. Yeah, a, yeah, ABK. Um, like that combo starter from mid range is kind of like really unique and really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely true. But when you get to these higher percents, how exactly do you kill, uh, play around the kill options of Bayonetta? Because Bayonetta, while they can calm you to death, they also struggle to kill. Yeah, they, they have really good kill options, but they're a little bit predictable, right? The yes. back here, combos in the back here are like what they're gonna do. So so avoiding that is like comes down to avoiding the up tilt and avoiding a raw back air at ledge or something like that. Ooh, nice forward smash. Moxie getting a little getting a little trigger happy right there, but not getting punished too much for it yet. I like the little extra percent with the guns off when uh, Moxie's off stage trying oh, for the tomahawk, oh. but Moxie not gonna, not gonna fall for it. Okay. Oh, air dodge, wave landing on the whoa, platform. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, how is Bayonetta gonna land finally? Yeah, at this percent, it's even like the normal combo starter moves don't start any combos for you. So you need something a lot more um, a lot more direct than a ABK. Oh, oh my, even that, not even leading to a kill right there now. There you finally. go. It's the raw backers that you yeah. need. Like you're, you can hit as many ABKs as you want at 180, but it's not gonna do anything. Eventually you need to find a solid hit. Okay. And that's what that spade is able to do. But Death Spade also is at a pretty high percent herself. Yeah, yeah, like these back airs that Moxie's throwing out and they're like pixels away from hitting and sweet spotting, they'd absolutely blow up Bayo at this percent if mm -hmm. you sweet spot it from, even from center stage. Mm -hmm. So, oh, weak there. Oh, oh, waiting oh, for it. Oh, there oh, not. Oh. I thought something bigger was going to happen, but just a grab. Okay, nothing too crazy. And the forward tilt at ledge, catching that from Death Spade. This was a huge lead at the beginning for Death Spade. But and it's Mox back to even. Yeah, the thing but about hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. It's we even, but you're in combo percent for Bayo again. You know, before you got to like get so much time because you were at high percent, but now immediate 94 percent, right? Yeah. And this is the kind of percent where an up tilt into a back air will kill you if you're near the ledge. Uh, oh my God, the Ooh. attempted up smash! Ooh. Oh, but nice meaty percent there from Moxie in a reply. How exactly will Despade retort getting off this ledge here? Yeah, the it, APK it, whiffing there right there, but up yet a shield is gonna do it. It's gonna hit them over to the side. Oh, the wait. The thing about your if your opponent throws out something super committal and risky like that, that could end the game, is that you have to be able to uh, follow up on that punish, right? You gotta get the most out of the punish. At 65%, Boxy definitely getting getting what they can. Yeah, she's just trying to do her oh, best nice. to hit the, the first two hits so far of fair, but has not been able to confirm in anything yet. 
Nice both both these characters at kill percent now. It's a last hit situation. Uh, the question Ooh, is. The spot dodge. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my god! god the up oh my gosh! So many spot dodges. So little confirms. It feels like the up smash should linger for longer than it does, but those uh, those smash attacks actually don't linger for very long at all. And able to spot dodge through it. Okay. The APK not even. Back here, no! It whiffs the forty out of shield. Hold on, that trip. Not I the think. grab. Oh, dash, dash attack through shield. Dash attack will kill here at all, but the thing is. Ah! Bayo needs a bigger hit than than uh, than Moxie does. Moxie just needs like anything, like a dash tag, oh any up air, oh, and the dash there attack we go. backwards. I love oh. it. Oh my god, that <laughs> game, that last hit situation. I was tense. I can't imagine what the players were feeling there. <laughs> they were. Oh my god, that was an insane one. Spot that, spot that, spot that. I know. Spot and the hits were like pixels and frames away from connecting. Oh like, I thought god. that up smash read was amazing. Jeez. Those, those dash attacks from Moxie, any small hit would have killed, would have killed Death Spade. But in the end. It's Death Spade, the the, the, uh, the the left facing dash attack that yeah. ended up calling it out. Yeah, I mean, that was great. It was a that great was ending. Great. And honestly, Bayonetta's dash attack is not super great. So I was even wondering if that was gonna kill. Honestly, it's <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the kind of thing where the reason it was so good in that situation is because you know it fooled me, right? Everybody right. thinks the only kill move you really have is back air. Yes. So you're only playing around back air, and 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 oh, that lets on, you hold use. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, good di from Moxie. That could have literally been a death. Yeah, right I mean it could always be a death that gets bailed. It comes down to your SDI, right? And if you know what kind of mix-ups they're doing with their hits. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah. It, 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 what I was saying about the option is just when everyone is expecting one option, even a mediocre option becomes good uh, because it's so likely to hit. Oh, oh my whoa. God! The spike, it's the tech. I love that down air from Bale. It's so great. Didn't leave too much of a no spike off stage that there, but still, it sent a message, and I was I was there to read it. Let me tell you, I loved it. F right. smash neutral, no risk there at all. It's got no end lag. I like just throwing it out sometimes. It's sort of like the Mario with the up smashes, right? It's like ah. Uh, this, this, I can just do this. I can just do this. It's no big deal. Yeah, exactly. Okay, gunning up close on the shield. Interesting decision there. Low profiling the hit. Oh my god, not getting a tech chase Jeez. there. I love the defensive play from both these players around the other people's kill options. Right now, uh, as I say that. Yes, amazing. Again, we saw that the uh, F tilt at ledge from Moxie was actually working really well in the last game. And so they thought they could just do it again for free, but that made one step ahead there and said, okay, if it worked last time, I'll, I'll counter you with that. Yeah. Oh, back air into the, the into the up smash right there. There's a little bit of a bait. So tricky, it's so tricky. The move is, is so safe, and Wolf's uh, up smash just sucks you in so well that it's just a, it's a really good bait. Okay, good DI again from Moxie. But catching the land in on the platform with the APK, that was huge from Deathbane, and continuing this stream. Ring. Oh my god, I love the patience there at the end of the combos by Deathspade because Moxie has had, had really good SDI, like you said, and able to get out of these combos like fairly early, mm -hmm. but Deathspade's looking for a little bit more. They just kind of wait at the end of the combos um, to see if they can get something started ooh, again. Ooh, fair into the up air, into a bit of an up air swing. Moxie right now really needs to put herself back into this because she is in the threat of going into loser's side of this tournament. Yeah, it would be Definitely really unexpected an for, for, for yeah, Moxie. This. A huge upset. She is definitely one of the favorites for not just top eight, one of the whole tournaments. For sure, for sure. Okay, just a couple. Oh my gosh, the jabs are gonna kill. Yes, that's, gonna that's gonna kill. Gonna do it. That Bayo, you, you know, you find those creative moves to kill with when you when you know if the back oh, air isn't hitting, oh, you gotta find something else. Oh, oh, oh my God, the wait. spot dodge. It's, oh my oh, gosh. They, oh, they waited, but they, Moxie manages to get back on the stage. But 780. Oh, oh my God. God. Reply and saying that I am a top player for a reason. I am not going down yet in this tournament. But right now, she is on her winner's blacket life. It could potentially go down into losers. And oh my gosh, the footstool was inspired, but not able to capitalize too much on it yet. Yes, yeah, still 100% lead here for Death Spade. But the thing is, once you get to 100%, you start getting in, those perc in the percents where the combos from Bayo are much harder to pull off and less consistent. So this is going to give Moxie an opportunity for a comeback that not every hit is so dangerous. You just Ooh. basically got to watch out for that back here. The tomahawk and a forward throw. The tomahawk. Okay, man. That's going to be a punish. Yep, he shields that. Okay, and Lord, we are just looking for a back here potentially from Moxie. Oh, oh my god, the yes, no, 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 Get up. Moxie! Wow. Whenever Moxie needed the hard read, the hard call out, they found it. They found exactly what they needed at exactly the right time. Ama what an amazing option there. My that god, that's awesome. Spade. 
you could tell they were like scared. They're like, I had a lead there. I had a lead. Like, like I'm gonna pick the safest option, which is usually neutral getup. Like yes. in general, that's just like a pretty safe okay. option. And Moxie though said, you're playing safe. I'm playing to win it all. Yeah. Right? Um, you know. Jeez, the little charge on it too. I know. The, the timing was so good. Dang, that's so impressive. Right. You were talking about knocking Moxie out of the bracket. I've been speaking a little too soon. You know. What I'm potentially. Saying? Potentially, Moxie making me eat my words right now. And to be honest, I am happy to do so right now. Yes, yes. This is, the, the more that we get of this set, the better. I do not know who's going to take this right now. Absolutely Will not. Moxie be able to maintain that momentum that she carried from the last set? Or what will... is that up air at a shield catching that up, the witch twist? God, I love the way Moxie is adapting in this set. It's really, it's just really impressive. Yeah, it, it, honestly, Moxie's doing phenomenal at that. But Death Spade looked really close in this set for a reason. Can they find that composure that they lacked in the last game and close it out here? Nice AP tape back into the ledge. My oh! god, the parries! That's the up smash! The adaptations are insane by Moxie. Moxie just figured something out at the, oh near the end of last gosh. game. And they've been pulled, they just brought it right back into game three. And all the momentum is on Moxie's side. That's it absolutely needs to change something up right here. Oh, okay, that side beyond the platform gonna get yeah. Moxie out of the bad situation. It worked out well. Didn't want to go back to the ledge right there. And Despade was not super ready for it. But a forward throw back from her. Nice. Racking up a fair amount of percent here onto Moxie. 107. Looking back into that up till back air range that we know so well. Okay, just oh, calling out the uh the uh witch time. Okay, getting the bayonet hit of the of the laser. Alright. Punishing the nair back on the stage with Despade right there. A little bit more percent racked on. But and now the percent is getting a little bit out of hand yeah. here for Death Spade, 88%. Yeah, definitely. And we know what Wolf can, you know, Wolf has those early kill options. This, Ooh. oh, Ooh. tried Why did the to roll in. the roll in. Yeah, that would have been really dangerous. But Death Spade able to use Neutral. the single yes. jab there, a forward air and confirmed it into the rapid jab that on the side. That was really cool confirm. I didn't know that that confirmed. That was really cool. That was, that was nice. That was exactly what Death Spade needed. But mm -hmm. the thing is, and the thing is, at zero percent, there's a lot of combo oh. opportunities like here this. on Wolf. Like this. Yeah, you like get, this. You can make like this so fast. Oh, but the side beat it's on not the ledge. Good there's too much end lag Death on it. Death Spade was and looking for it. Nice. Okay, the ledge oh. drop air dodge back on, but into the F tilt, Moxie. Scrapping themselves into a lead here in game three. Down, down smash? No. Down, oh, down air gosh. though. Oh and my they're going deep off stage. Oh my god! No oh. jump in that ending that even game. Oh, the taunt! And the taunt oh. coming out! Yo, Decimate Tawny here in the last game. Is this. Oh my god, what's gonna happen here? I don't know! I love this! Both players showing such strong mental, and then a combo started right now for Despade. But the SDI from Mac uh, Moxie was immaculate, getting themselves out of that combo. It's a serious momentum shift, but the thing is, you know Moxie isn't gonna be flustered by the situation. Both these players, they've played so many last hit situations like this, they know what they're doing. Oh, oh, catching the lady there with the side B! Okay, but resetting the neutral right now. Nice, fair. Out of disadvantage there from Moxie. It started up again from Despade. This is, they're just going back for fourth. Tit for tap right now. I don't know who's going to get the advantage here in this set. It's just so dead even here. We haven't actually seen any confirms like the up, up tilt in the back air so far in this entire set. I wonder if that's what they're going to look for. Because like if, if, if Deathspade has to get a kill at like 150, oh. that might not be good enough. Oh my goodness. Oh, both air dodges. Oh, the footstool unintentionally not able to follow up though. Deathspade just looking for something. How is she going to land here? Side platform is where she's gonna land on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now, good DI here is gonna is gonna make Moxie right. live for sure. You're right. You're right. 130 piled up so far onto Moxie. Will Despade be able to close it out? This looks even for me, right? Like the extra percent. Okay, yeah, not gonna fall for that. Oh, the, the it confirms. Oh, and waiting for a panic option that Moxie didn't give him. Oh, down here, not connecting. The back throw is still just gonna send them off stage. Great punish from Moxie. Okay, here's the ledge trap situation. Oh, it goes for the witch time, but now they have to oh. grab. It's back. Oh. Okay, no, oh. no grab. They shield in the back, and the back air takes it. And the shield poke back air. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, that was an insane end of the game. I thought it was gonna be over when Moxie, uh, sorry, when Death Spade whiffed the witch time off stage, and you're thinking, do they have to re-grab, right? But it was a really smart option going back into the stage. Moxie wasn't ready to cover that. They had to shield, but their shield was too low, oh. and the perfectly spaced back air to hit Moxie.